Hello everybody, this is Levon Kaysen. I am back at it again with another video. And Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack Overview Trailer is the most disliked video on Nintendo's channel. I mean, look, the people have spoken. 17,000 likes, 143,000 likes. So, really... People just don't like that Nintendo Switch Online with or without the expansion pack. And that's pretty much a fact at this point. Like, let's be real about this. The Nintendo Switch Online is definitely not worth the $50. Especially because it doesn't offer any real voice chat through the system OS. It doesn't really offer a real messaging system. It still doesn't even offer, you know, allowing you to, you know, listen to music and things like that. It, there's still no Netflix on the system. There's no themes on the system except those two themes that come with the system, you know, the black one and the white one. Like, the, the Nintendo Switch still to this day is missing many features that the PlayStation Vita has had back in 2011 and back in 2012. And the Nintendo Switch Online service has done nothing to improve that base or with the expansion pack. Like, there hasn't really been any real improvements as far as the Switch OS goes when it comes to the Nintendo Switch online service like yeah you can do cloud saves but i mean that's really it pretty much like that's probably the only big feature of the service i mean yeah you can play super nintendo games and nes games and n64 games and sega genesis games but i think i think they should offer that as a separate service instead of putting it with the Switch Online service. Because I think a lot more people will be willing to pay a virtual console subscription service instead of, you know, just putting it with the online, making that the real reason to pay for the online. But let's say if it didn't have those, you know, classic games. Let's be real. Nobody would be paying for the Nintendo Switch Online service. Like, nobody would. If it wasn't for those NES games, those Super Nintendo games, those N64 games, those Sega Genesis games, nobody would be paying for that online like that. Not for real. Not for real. <laughs> like, Nintendo, you have got to get it together with this Nintendo Switch Online, bro. Like, we live in the year 2021, and it's about to be 2022, and I still can't do a message on my Nintendo Switch. Like, send an actual message to one of my friends on the Nintendo Switch. Like, I still cannot do that. Like, oh, people are going to say, oh, use Discord. Oh, use this, you know, voice chat application. Like, come on. Like, Xbox, you do it within the system itself. PlayStation, you can do it within the system itself. But with Nintendo's case, you got to use your smartphone in order to voice chat with people on the Nintendo Switch online. Like, this is just unfreaking believable in 2021, Nintendo. Like, Nintendo, you make good games. But everything else about... You, Nintendo, is just very flawed. And this is one of those flaws, you know, having a decent online experience on a Nintendo console. Like, you cannot have that on a Nintendo Switch. Like, you just can't. The Wii U has more online features, or had more online features, day one, than the Nintendo Switch has ever had in the past four years. Like, isn't that telling people something? Like, your last, but the system that pretty much failed at like what, and only 13 million bought the system, 
had more features than your system that is nearing about 100 million systems. That's just real sad right there. That is just sad. Like, I mean, Nintendo people are still gonna buy this online service because they still wanna play those Sega Genesis games and that Nintendo 64 games. And they're going to pay the $50 or whatever just because of that. But for me personally, I don't really see the point of paying Nintendo $50. Heck, you know. And I definitely sure as heck don't see the point of paying Nintendo $20 for their base Nintendo Switch online service. Like, I don't see the point. Like, I really don't see the point, honestly. Like... I'd rather just use my Wii U. I'd rather just use my PS3. I'd rather just use my Xbox Series X and S systems to play my, you know, NES games, my Super Nintendo games, my N64 games, my uh, Sega Genesis games. The funny thing is about the Sega Genesis games, though, is that there's already a Sega Genesis Classic collection on the Nintendo Switch itself. And that collection, you know, it gets a lot of price drop, like, down to $10. So, at that point, you'd be better off just getting that collection instead of paying for the Nintendo Switch online service. Like, which one's cheaper? The Nintendo Switch online expansion pack or just getting the Sega Genesis Classics? On the Nintendo Switch, which can be about for what, like ten dollars or heck, maybe on par with the Nintendo Switch online service that is the base. Like, I'd rather just pay the ten twenty dollars for that Sega Genesis Classics on the Nintendo Switch and just keep it moving from there. And that's just me being real, guys. Like. There's a reason why this is the most disliked video on Nintendo's YouTube channel. It's because Nintendo hasn't really done anything significant to improve their online service besides just putting more classic games on their online service and adding, you know, cloud saves. But other than that, they haven't really done anything significant with this online service for the past four years. And that's pretty much a fact. So people, keep expressing your dislikes. Keep on doing it. Because at this point, we have got to say, enough is enough, Nintendo. Nintendo, make a competent, online service give me a reason to pay at least twenty dollars for your online service besides just wanting to play super nintendo games and nes games which i can already play those on the nes mini and the super nes mini like give me a reason why to pay for this online service nintendo Give me a reason to pay for the $50. Give me a reason to pay for the $20. Like, give me a legit reason, Nintendo. Like, I'm a Nintendo fan. Don't get me wrong. I love Nintendo. I probably will be buying their next Nintendo Switch. I'm not buying that OLED. I don't see the point of buying that. But as far as their Switch 2, like, yeah, I'll probably buy that. But, Nintendo, you have got to fix this Switch Online service. If you want people to really start, you know, paying for this online service legitimately, then you're going to have to add the real system voice chat. You're going to have to add a real legit messaging system. And you're going to have to add other more features that were on the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation Vita back in 2005 for the Xbox 360 and back in 2011 and 2012 for the PlayStation Vita. Like, 
you're going to have to start offering, you know, legitimate reasons for people to pay for this online service since you put it up for $50 with the expansion pack. Like, what's the Nintendo difference? Why bother paying $50 where I could pay $60 more and I get a lot more with the competition that is Microsoft and Sony? Like, what's the Nintendo difference? When it comes to online services, Nintendo. But I've been doing this rant for long enough. What do you guys think of this video right here? Nintendo Switch Online plus Expansion Pack Overview Trailer being the most disliked video on their Nintendo YouTube channel. Like, let me know what you guys' thoughts in the comment section below this video. Thank you guys for watching, and see you guys later. So now that you have made it to the end of the video, I want you guys to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and when you hit that notification bell, you gotta hit all notifications. So that way you can be notified for future live on case and tech videos, future live on case and gaming videos, future live on case and live streams, and also other videos that I do, such as, you know, reaction videos and, and things of that nature. Bye.